At ground zero. She was fresh out of med school at the time, but as Andres Gutierrez reports, those days spent in the rubble are now key lessons for future doctors. Who are we going to find? What rescues are we going to make? That fateful morning of September 11th, 2001, Dr. Stephanie Evers watched a horror and tragedy unfold on television. Within hours, Evers, who graduated UMKC Medical School a year earlier, was on her way to New York City as part of an urban search and rescue team. And as you get there, the whole place is covered in ash. There's no electricity, there's no running water, everything. It, it, it looks like a third world country. She captured these images of the hellscape in lower Manhattan that was ground zero. Unfortunately, within the first 48 hours, we knew pretty quickly that our mission was going to shift from rescue to recovery. But that never wavered New York City first responders who lost so many. They weren't going to give up and they they just worked to the bone. They didn't eat. They didn't sleep. They were, you know, just going for hours and hours and hours on end. Some of the lessons from the terror attack are now taught at her med school by Dr. Erica Carney. Lack of communication was key. You didn't know who was coming in from where. I do think the key components for all of us when it comes to deploying to an event like that identification what is your role what is your hierarchy and not going outside of that dr ever says 9 11 reaffirmed her commitment to emergency medicine treating patients at olathe health for more than a decade most recently dealing with covid i think that we've lost sight of that that ability to come together as a country and I hope that by kind of going back through the sentiment and the feelings and, and the way that everyone felt on 9-11, that maybe we can get back to that again. In Olathe, Otters Gutierrez, KSHB 41 News.